What's going on guys, it's your boy Icecream and I am back with another Apex Legends Mobile versus PC comparison video. So as a lot of you have seen already, I released a mobile versus PC movement speed comparison video yesterday. However, the test that I ran could have actually been done more accurately. Callistus replied to my tweet, some things were not considered in this. Number one, 90 field of view versus 110 field of view. Number two, different places so it's hard to tell. My job as a content creator is to provide quality accurate content for you guys. They have to be done properly with all things considered. So when Callistus pointed this out, I just had to get back in the game and then run the tests again. Now unfortunately, in the space of two hours, I could only get one clip of scenario done. Why? Well, let me tell you, the maps in Apex Legends PC gets rotated every two hours. So at some point, World Edge wasn't available, so I had to wait. It was available again, and I only had a short amount of time to actually go in and record a gameplay. Two, I was struggling to find a gun that I needed to do the comparison with. And three, I just kept on running into squads and getting my ass clapped trying to get the freaking video done. As much as I want to provide you guys good content, I need to keep my sanity intact. So I decided to just use this one clip and just break it down in multiple ways. So without further ado, let's kick it. All right, guys, what I'm going to do is run the side by side comparisons first, full speed playback and then 50 percent speed playback and then discuss what's different. Okay, so first things first, the absolute most noticeable difference between the two is the running animation. Mobile to the left, PC to the right. You can see that the character running animation is much faster on the PC than it is on the mobile. Now, whether that affects the movement velocity, I'm not too sure. Okay guys, so what we'll do is we'll roll it back to the point of the clips where we can make a side-by-side -side accurate comparison. So let's just roll it back a little bit. Let's go forward a few keyframes. The loot box is gonna be on the right of the character. The PC game starts sprinting straight away, but the one on the left, the mobile game, hasn't even sprinted yet. So don't pay attention to how fast the video is going just yet. By the way, first and foremost, I jumped into Apex Legends today. I have a lower end laptop. I could barely play the game. So what I did is just drop the settings all the way down to low. And then I also capped, I finally managed to cap the frames per second to 30. So both games were actually running at 30 frames per second. And also I dropped the field of view to 90 on the PC version, exactly the same as the mobile version. So what we'll do now is we'll just go a little bit forward a few keyframes to a point where we can make a side by side, relatively accurate comparison. Okay, so I think at this point would be good because my point of interest at the moment is this pillar or this corner of the wall right here. Okay, so this is kind of, this kind of puts them at a similar place. But as you can see, field of view or not, the place looks much wider, bigger, longer, and everything big on the PC version. Whereas on the left hand side, it looks much smaller. What my guess is, they've actually scaled the game down to make the entire game smaller than the actual PC version. And there could be a lot of reasons for that. If they just did a direct port and the map was the exact same size as it is on PC and on mobile, when it comes to downloading the game, the game would end up being a 20 gig download. So they had to scale things down. Which brings me to my next question. When they scaled things down, did they also scale down the velocity? Did they scale it down too much? I don't know. I really, really cannot give you the exact answer. I am just going to give you as close as possible comparison. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is instead of playing the video normal, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep moving forward on my keyframes on my editor and you guys can see how much movement there is difference wise between the two. All right, so we're going to keep moving forward now. Okay, so this is the very, very important part of the playback. This specific point in the clip almost has an identical 
location of the character based on where they are on the map. So as you can see that my character was now running on these hazard lines. Same as this guy, albeit this guy is pretty much in the middle of the hazard line and this guy is a little bit to the right of it. Well, this is as close as I could get to an identical like for like scenario. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna keep pressing my right key and just let the video play keyframe by keyframe. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna hold my right key and let the video editor just move forward keyframe by keyframe. All right, now we're gonna do the exact same thing on the 50% playback speed comparison. And what we're going to do now is we're going to play it back a little bit faster. So now pay attention to how fast the character is actually moving. Now, if the movement mechanics, as well as the velocity in this game, directly and accurately works with the animation of the characters, then the character on the PC version is running at a much faster pace than the character on the left, which is the mobile version. Higher field of view or settings or not. But yeah, I think that's as far as I can take this comparison too, to be honest. It doesn't surprise me if things are different from the PC and the mobile version if the PC has a larger scale of things than the mobile version if the mobile version is slower. I just wanted to see how much slower it is. And to me, it does seem slower, you know, and unfortunately, unless we can get a velocity counter on the mobile, which I don't think we can, we won't really be able to come up with an exact result for this. The question still remains, does this affect the movement mechanics in Apex Mobile? Does the wall bounce foundation exist in the mobile version right now? If so, is the velocity going to affect it on mobile? Can we reach enough velocity to perform the wall bounce and other moves? There is literally no way to find this out until the game comes out. But for now, like I said, that's as far as I can go with this movement speed, guys. Unless you guys have other things in mind that I can, you know, use to test with. But if not, I'll see you in the next one. Peace!